Hello everyone, this is Shock, and today I'll be giving my recommendations for Xur for week 47. This week Xur is in the reef, it's over to the right, inside this small room. And this week he has... No backup plans, no go ahead radar, Claws of Ahamkara, Suros Regime, obviously Exotic Shard, Exotic Helmet Ingram, Heavy Ammo, Emerald Coil Vehicle Upgrade, Plasma, plasma Drive Vehicle Upgrade, Sniper Rifle Telemetry, Scout Rifle, and Pulse Rifle Telemetry, and as always, the Emote of Light for two Strange Coins. Now, the No Backup Plans don't have a very good stat roll on them. They only have a 97 and the max is 120. So even if you did like the no backup plans, which a lot of people don't, uh, it does not have a great stat roll. Next I will be switching over to my hunter and going over that one. So next we will be looking at the knucklehead radar with the hunter. The stat roll on it is a 106 with the max being 136, so I don't know that that's a great roll. Um, I had this one already, so I didn't pick it up this time, but I used to use it pretty frequently in Crucible. It's not great in PvE in my opinion, but uh, it's it's not bad. I don't know that it's worth an exotic slot. Uh, there are probably better ones, especially for Blade Dancer with the Mask of Third Man. Here's what it looks like on. Not bad. Got that cool little widget in front. So now we have the Claws of Ahamkara. And the best thing about them, I suppose, is that they look good. Um, their stat rolls are not bad, actually. The discipline is 58, max for it is 69. Strength is 68, max is 69 as well. Uh, like I said, they do look good, but they're just, they're not exactly too useful. Uh, they give you an ex additional charge for all your warlock melees. I guess if you melee a lot, obviously it'd be a good choice does give melee attack speed, but I just don't know if it's worth an exotic slot. I don't know about this one. If you don't have it, pick it up obviously, but I don't know if it's that useful. Uh, next we'll look at the Suros. Obviously this is a classic, um, hopefully with the new Taken King patch, with it being buffed a little bit, it will make a bit of a comeback. I didn't have it when it was all the rage back in Crucible back in the day. Uh, I got it after it was nerfed of course, but I still use it every once in a while and it's still not bad. It's a good weapon and it's fun to use. It should be a little bit stronger when they bring out the new patch, so that'll be good. Exotic Helmet Ingrams. Um, you obviously want to get that if you want any of the exotic helms that you don't have. Um, there are plenty of them. Last week I got, is it the last week or the week before I got, um, I had the Ram before, it didn't have a great stat roll so I bought I think seven and finally got another ram with better stat roll still not I don't know if that's a great one yet but here it is um, so obviously if you want a different exotic helm go and pick it up so uh, most of my stats I got off of destinydb.com so if you want to check out any of the stats on any of the other weapons or armors that's a good spot to go this is the first time I've made any video like this so if you'd like more, let me know, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.